Here's a little video I'm going to try to make to help a guy figure out something I'm trying to explain to him. <clears throat> He's got his welt line there and everything. Okay. And, of course, you come over here and do the same thing over here. Mark it where you're going to want it. You eyeball it real good. Make sure they're, you know, symmetrical. <clears throat> now, of course, you're going to take your swell cover piece that's wet of course, this one's dry. This is one I kind of cut too short. You can see where I've had to, you know, make notes to myself to add an inch here and add an inch there. But it gives you an idea of what we're trying to do. So you'll bring that up over the top of your horn while it's good, you know, cased. And squeeze it together right there like you want it. Now, you got to remember to add a little bit or subtract a little bit to account for that welt. Or some people even go through, where is that piece I just had a minute to go by? Golly, come here, come here, come here. I'm still drinking my first cup of coffee, so. They'll take a piece of skirting and, and trim it down to about a half an inch thick and, and nail it, tack it in there. So that when they do squeeze it, it shows a better line than what I've got right here. You can see where I've, here. This one's got a little better line on it. Of course, you want to do that right there. You're going to want to come in here and skive that. And then you take some thinner leather, fold it in half, and make what's known in the boot making industry as piping, or what saddle makers call welting, which is this right here. Then, if you, if you see what I did here, if you use that piece of skirting that stood up, it'll all come together perfect. If not, you just kind of have to add or, or subtract a little bit so you can pull it that much tighter. And then feather this. You can't see it up underneath here, but right here, it's feathered out. Right there, it's cut short. And then, of course, when it's wet, you do all your rubbing and everything to get it to lay flat. Now, this piece I'm going to tool later. But, um, you know, you, you can stamp on that and kind of hide what little bit of stitching you see. I hope that helps, young man. And then, of course, there's what it kind of sort of looks like down at the bottom. Hope that helps you, young man.